Hey guys, it is NCS Fan 001 here, welcome you to part 105 of Fallout 3 All Missions Walter with Commentary. Last time we finished up Riley's Rangers, as you can see here. All we have left now is the pit, the rest of the main quest, and then Broken Steel. I'm going to have this thing done in probably under 40 hours, which is 10 hours shorter than, or 8 hours shorter than my last run. Yeah, not bad. So as you can see here, I did some trading and stuff. I think I told you guys about that already. I'm up to a few more caps than I have because, well, I traded all my books, I traded the fingers, and I traded any other stuff I really had. Uh, and I went on and went from all the way from the Alien Homing Beacon all the way up to here, so I actually went pretty far. So, anyway, I just thought we'd go on and explore this real quick because we came up on it. And these places usually have something decent in them, so I just want to check it out. Let's see what they got. These places usually have some decent stuff, so might as well check it. Hardlock terminal or hardlock safe. I think I'll go with safe, even though the terminal would open the safe. I am so not used to having so few bobby pins. I have over 100 on that certain section of... Fallout New Vegas. Wow, that was really worth breaking a bobby pin for. Actually, I'm kind of glad... Well, no, we don't get the 32. What thing am I saying? Okay, that's almost a spoiler there. Uh, anyway. Actually, the day this is being filmed is the day that I uh, film the remaining game with every gun's the two launchers, so I am so happy to have that series done and I never have to deal with it again. Okay, let's see what's in here. Wonder glue. Bottle cap. Oh. I have six of the schematics? Really? Ah, uh, okay. That's actually kind of cool. Let's see what I don't have. I don't have the Deathclaw Gauntlet. Oh, well. That'd be so funny if the Deathclaw Gauntlet was here somewhere. Nikola, Tesla, and you. Let's see, there's usually some uh, schematics in most of these places. I just want to be sure that I'm not missing it if it is here. It may just be one of those that doesn't have one. They usually have a first aid box, though. That's kind of weird that there's not one here. Okay, let's go on and read that skill book. Energy weapons increased by two. I kind of want to see where my skills are at, too, because I haven't looked yet. 431. I don't know what I'm going to come out with. So energy weapons is maxed out, so those books are basically useless. Uh, big guns will get a little... Barter, I'll probably bump up a little bit more. Medicine, I might want to bump up a little bit more. Repairs, probably rep, probably go up a little bit more on repair. Probably go up a... I need to get up speech, barter, repair, and small guns, probably. And medicine. So that's probably all I'm going to put in these last five levels, or four levels. So we've only got 27, 28, 29, 30, so we're almost done with leveling up. We'll probably be done with leveling up by the time we leave the pit, so we're going to have the entirety of... Whoa, 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 whoa! You actually kind of scared me there, buddy! Hey, don't spawn in on me, you jerk faces. That's not even cool. Well, they all die the same. You jerk faces, you don't spawn in on me. And folks, annihilate you if I could even hit him. Look at this idiot. He doesn't even realize that I'm standing right behind him. Private contract. Oh, I don't think I've actually shown that off. I kind of want to show you guys that. That's actually a sort of a cool little thing. I want to take that to sell, but I'll, I'll, I'll hand it over to Falks before we head into the DLC and that. I'll hand some of that stuff over just so that we can trade it later on. But yeah, I kind of want to show you guys that. That's something I was thinking of earlier in the game when they didn't attack me, even though they pro I thought they were going to. It's not popping up in here. That's kind of weird. That is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Maybe we had it earlier. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Boys and girls, we've got ourselves another holier than thou white knight that needs putting down. Here are the details names EPTV123, race Caucasian, sex male. Bounty is a thousand caps, and for a change of pace, they want the head. <laughs> yeah, if you are a good player, if you're good, or I think even sometimes if you're neutral. They will actually, you know, hunt you down. Like, Talent Company will actually hunt you down. They'll never hunt you down if you're evil, as far as I know. But that's actually sort of an interesting little thing about this game. Just another way this game has some good little uh, stuff in it. Let's go on and drop off that stuff with Falks so we don't have to... Oh, crap, I just grabbed something I didn't want. 
Yeah, the Blackhawk's suffering a little bit. I might repair it in a second. Those two I can just repair. Uh, definitely don't need that. Not going in here, that's for sure. Take that. Now we're better. Let's go. I know, I'm just being sort of uh, cautious with this because I really just... We're getting so close to the end of the game that I just really want to be careful and not die this late in the game because I've, I've gone no death so far and I just don't want to die yet. Or I just don't want to die at all. Pulling a no death run would be great. We had a few close calls recently. So we're almost to the radio tower. It's probably going to take the entire video just to access the, uh, just to start the pit, for that matter. Because it does have some free stuff that we have to do first, so it's going to be another video probably until we're actually in the true pit area. Huh. Is this a path? Okay, thank God the, the developers were nice enough to make us a path here. I wonder if Fox can even fit through here. He doesn't, I don't feel like he could. Okay, we are almost there. Man, I don't remember this place being this hard to find last time. I mean, I know what it is, and I know where it is, but... I do not remember this many rocks. I must have come in from a different direction last time. That down there, I think, is the Corvega factory, isn't it? But no, that couldn't be. That's on the other side of the map. I don't know what that is. Here we go, guys. There's the radio tower. Uh, we're going to tune into Warner's distress signal in case we have to do it for whatever reason. To anyone who can hear me, my name is Werner. I come from a settlement to the north. I have information of great value. Anyone willing to help me free my people? Please, help us. So I hope you can hear some of what he was saying. He's basically saying it's a distress signal. He needs help for his people are basically enslaved. We'll get more into it. The pit, the pit's interesting because it actually has a lot of story to it that the main game doesn't have. Like, most of the DLCs, aside, like, Operation Anchorage, Point Lookout, and Mothership Zeta have very little to do with the main game itself. I don't know what that is. Those guys, they finally tracked me down. I thought I'd have more time. You've come about the broadcast, right? Missing. Well, now. I, yeah. I come from a place far to the northwest. It's called the Pit. It's. Yeah, yeah. The place is a nightmare. Radiation, mutation, disease. But the worst of it, my people, some of the only survivors, are slaves. Ooh, that's not good. What deal are you thinking? It's a rough world. Yeah, that's why these guys were after me. And you can be damn sure. Cure for what? The pit's a mess. Nearly everyone who lives there is either sick, dying, or worse. It's the water and the air. You can't escape it. You stay there a few years, and no matter what, it'll get you. But the bastards who have my people, and once they have that cure perfected, we don't stand a chance. So we need the cure to bargain for all right, so we will do that. Well, you might try a disguise. But if you look like one of the working stiffs, you should be able to slip it. Lucky for us, a group of slavers is nearby waiting to make us. They're off to the west, near the tunnel that leads to the pit. Okay, you go get... I'll meet you up by the tunnel that leads to the pit. I think my dad's working on the roof. Of course, he has, of course it has to be like the one time that I'm trying to record. Okay, so anyway, here's what we need to do. We need to go over here. And we need to... Wait, why am I going toward the wrong... That's the wrong mark. I don't know what I'm doing that for. So yeah, basically this thing is interesting because it actually has a fair amount of story toward the main, toward the main game actually because about 30, 40 years ago... The Brother of Steel, when they first arrived in this side of the mo in this uh, side of the wasteland, 
like maybe 30 years prior, uh, they went through the pit and they basically, they wiped out everyone there in one night and left, well, they wiped out most everybody and then they took some of the uh, unirradiated babies and all, like the babies that had just sort of recently been born to where they hadn't gotten sick or anything yet and they took them and started training them for the brother to steal. I can't remember what the exact story is, but I, it must have been something about the cure, I believe. Maybe they had originally been developing a cure back then. I'm not 100% sure, but it, it was something about that. And what the? What? What? I think this is the random encounter based off the Wasteland Survival Guide. Greetings, fellow survivor. Another... Why shouldn't I be? I've got food, I've got shelter. Haven't you heard the good news? Read it, I helped write it. <laughs> Glory be! You're the... Yep. Bless you. Oh. Yes, it... Please. So they'll actually give you some money, which is kind of cool, but that's that's the first time we've seen that encounter is that depending on how well you do at it, they will... You'll get a different encounter depending on how well you complete it. Like, if you complete it fully like I did, you'll get a good encounter like that, and basically they will... Well, sir, they should survive, and then they'll be, like, happy and go lucky, and everything's good for them. <sighs> Can't make this easy for me, can you, game? I wonder if I can detonate that car. I don't have my missile... Do I have my missile launcher? Yes, I do. Okay. Let's see if I can detonate that car. I didn't do too much. Well, I crippled its stinger. Yeah, run, little Scorp Scorp. I don't know why I'm calling him a Scorp Scorp, but... This is really, really annoying, because, like, we haven't already seen, like, five million of these things in this game. Where the heck is Falks? Little Scorpion, you are really bothering me right now because you are affecting my productivity. Will you just die? Thank you. Jesus. Nah, they aren't really worth the money. Sounds like something's breaking down there. Uh, we're almost there, actually. Almost there. I actually just found a minigun recently in uh, Fallout New Vegas. It's called the CZ Something Adventure. That thing's actually pretty good. I share my 5mm rounds between it and, a, and a, an overly modded assault carbine, but... Okay, now that we're here, I'm going to wait a couple hours and see if Fox would like to join us today. There he is. I don't know what he's doing now, but he was here. Oh well. Alright, uh, there is an easier way to do this. We are going to... Oh! Dude! Dude! That's not even cool! I was just gonna buy the slaves from you and let you live. I guess I'm not going to do that now, but... Whoa! What the heck was that? Well, I guess I can't do that now since you idiots decided to attack me. Goodbye to you. Fox will finish off the other guy. Uh, let's see what they've got for ammo. Yep, of course, because stealing from slavers is not bad for you. It actually doesn't hurt you. I think that's kind of cool. I think that's good, too. Oh, I can't sleep in an own bed, duh. Uh, so let's go on and... One of them should have a key on them somewhere for the slave pen. What am I supposed to? I don't know which one. Of course they have to pick today to do some cleaning or something. Of course. Someone should have a key. I don't remember where it is, but I thought that somebody did. Maybe I'm wrong, but... I'm carving cigarettes. 
<clears throat> yes, I am wrong, so I guess we're gonna have to pick this lock. Alright, I'm gonna, like, wait and film the next video until after this. Until after my parents finish their stupid thing. I'm gonna pick at the slave pin gate. Okay, that's not a good way to start. God! I'm gonna run out of bobby pins! person in the world, or the du- What? I need a set of slave clothes. That guy over there on the mattress died. If you don't mind, Mr. We will. So, we're gonna free them and gain karma, and we're gonna take the worn slave outfit that he has. And Warner's actually gonna come down here, which is very nice that we don't have to run all the way back there. So, let's go on and talk to him. All right. You got it. I'll beat you up by the tunnel that leads to the pit. You... Whatever you say, hero. Just don't take too long. Okay, we've got everything we need. And... Fox... Oh, wait, no, we don't have to dismiss him in this game. It's not like, uh... It's not like in Fallout New Vegas. We don't actually have to dismiss him in this game. Grab another card of cigarettes. There's no way to trade in the pit, unfortunately, but... We will actually, uh, as I've said before, we're going to lose our gear. There's a lot of stuff I do need to talk about when we get in here, so I'll get into that in a second. So, this tunnel leads to a complicated network of tunnels and old highways that travel far into the northwest to the pit. The going will be rough and harsh. Supplies will be scarce, and you won't be able to return until your business there is concluded. Are you sure you wish to travel to the pit? No! Because i got to save first. So, next time, guys, we will travel to the pit. So, I will see you guys then.